Many years ago, well in fact in the early 60s, two brothers from Mysore decided to bring the name of Java motorcycles to the Indian market. But well they realized that you know the name Java would not resonate with all the Indians even back at that time. So they decided to give it a little bit of twist. So two brothers, namely Farooq and uh, Rustam Irani, they decided to rename the brand Java called YSD. Now back in 2022, well I just came two bikes this side, but on a serious note, back to 2022, Classic Legends, a Mahindra company, has acquired Java motorcycles, VSA and YSD. We have already seen them revive the Java motorcycles and here it is, this is a Java Para. And well, under the same dealership, now it's time for YSD to come back to its former glory. Hello and welcome to the Drivers Up. I'm Kiran and today we are here to see the new Scrambler. Mind you, the YSD has been out of the game for a whopping 26 years and well, that is longer than what I have been alive for. So instead of me finding out if it retains the charm of the old ESD, let's check out and see if the ESD here is really to compete with the big boys in the 300cc segment. Or is it just a Java in different clothes? Well, at first glance, the YSD Scrambler gets as, you know, well, it's as generic as a Scrambler can get. You know, it has a raised up rear, it has a flying front mudguard. The handlebar is also nicely raised, but it's not so tall like an adventure bike. And even the seating position is just spot on. And well, every way you look at it, it just screams Scrambler. And well, in this red color, it definitely looks very classy. Well, on further inspection, you can notice that this bike has taken cues from the past ESDs, especially like the squared off engine casting looks like the older gen Road King. And however, this in the Scrambler, the dual exhaust setup is there. It starts off with a single pipe, which then splits on in the rear. What happens, it gets a lot more ground clearance, 200 mm to be exact. Well, swing your leg over the ESD Scrambler and then you're greeted by a super comfortable position. It's the raised handlebars reduce the stress on the wrists, shoulders and the back and the feet are slightly ahead as you can see and well to me this is a really great angle i'm not that tall i'm five feet six so well for smaller riders well you can see both feet almost touch down well quite easily you'll have to stretch a little bit here and there if you're below five feet six but otherwise even after having 200 mm ground clearance this is really good it's really comfortable and well it's a scrambler after all so 200 mm ground clearance is going to be very handy when you're going to well bad patches there is no road in our country anyways at many places so over there it's going to be very helpful apart from that well it has a 12.5 liter tank which is quite decent and will definitely make sure that you go a certain amount of distance quite quickly and quite easily as well When it comes to riding, you instantly feel that the clutch is super heavy. So heavy that it takes you a few tries before you stop stalling the bike. But once you're done with that, the Scrambler is a very pleasant motorcycle to ride on. Because of its off-road bias suspension, the ride is super comfy. So is the riding position. Which means that you can totally daily this motorcycle. Even though this bike looks quite massive, it weighs around 182 kgs, which is totally fine for this segment. The engine has loads of grunt down below and you don't find yourself downshifting constantly to make an overtake and most importantly if you're feeling adventurous you can do this with the scram. On the road the YSD Scrambler is a very comfortable bike take it off-road and things spice up a little bit. Change the ABS mode to off-road mode which allows you to lock and slide the rear as you want and because it's a very well balanced and put motorcycle, the HD Scrambler is like, hey, you wanna have some fun? Let's hit some dirt. And it handles it really well. Along with the 19 inch front and the 17 inch rear, it's an ideal Scrambler setup. You have ample amount of grip 
on and especially off road and with 200 mm ground clearance i doubt you're going to hit that underbody anywhere soon the upswift exhaust also makes it look a little bit more scramblery and when if you're crossing some puddles or water crossing at least the water won't go into the exhaust immediately well the instrument cluster of the hd scrambler is a nice minimalistic and a very informative one it has all the necessary information like your tachometer speedometer two trip meters fuel gauge time and your gear position indicator you can also use the controls on the handle bar to switch between different abs modes namely road rain and off road and now let's talk about the elephant in the room that is the engine in the hd scrambler and well to be brief about it it's a 334 cc single cylinder liquid cooled engine my well at a glance it looks awfully similar to the one that's available with the java which makes around 27 bhp but this one has a set of revisions done to it namely it has high lift cams and has a bigger throttle body which helps it push out almost 2 horsepower more that's roughly touching around 30 bhp and 28 newton meters of torque and that also helps it to well accelerate quicker and also make it more peppy and fun when you throttle it up ahead well if you look at it hd is going hard into the market and is looking to give us that oomph that we are looking of for in the 300 cc segment the rivals if you look at it is the meteor 350 and the cb350 rs and well if you look at it the close competition might be the honda cb350 rs but that is more of a road sailor well this is a proper scrambler so having more power almost weighing the same it kind of outshines the bike over there and also competitively priced well a little bit higher but definitely has the value for the money and the fit and finish is top notch well a big thank you to shakti automobiles they are the authorized java and hd dealership here in pune baner well if you're curious yourself about how the new hd scrambler or the new hd motorcycles are do contact them all the details are there in the description below and do check out the dealership and book a test drive for yourself today otherwise do check out the merch again throttle store use the code tdh15 for flat 15% off until then this is kiran signing out i'll see you in the next one ciao